Okay, we've started. We've begun. We've we begin. Okay. Do you want to start? Everybody. Uh, yes. I guess I'll start. Hello, everyone. Whoever is listening or watching, I am Sophia, aka the a lovely brat, and um, I'm an artist. We're both rat artists. This is the Rat Cast. I should probably have opened yeah. it up with that. Yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> this is our first episode. This is our it's, first, you know. It's gonna be a little. This is our chaotic. first attempt. A little. Um, it'll be fine. It'll uh, be okay. Uh, what else? We're both webtoon creators on Canvas. I'm Banco, if you were wondering as well. Quietly over here. And yeah. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Awkward silence. Okay, uh, where should we start in terms of... Well, do you want to start we... with... Do you want to start with our series? Like, do you want to start with Summoning Boo? Yeah, okay. I guess... No, 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 no. I insist you start. No, no, no. I, I start? You. But I have two. Why don't you start? No, no, no. Go ahead and uh, introduce Oh, no, me? Show. Okay. <laughs> I... <laughs> Amazing. I have the series on Webtoon known as Hybrid. You probably have not have heard of it. Um, what? It's a little rinky-dink series. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> it's, very, it's a very underground, very indie. Yeah, very... everyone's going to be so upset. Anyone who's watching. <laughs> Anyone who knows, I was going to be upset. like, this bitch. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> uh, it's basically just a superhero action series that is just a lot of fun it's not meant to be anything super deep or thoughtful so if you <laughs> if you do pick something like that up i will claim it but i won't tell you that i did it so that's <laughs> he's and not then my... claiming intellectualism <laughs> with hybrid <laughs> you know i'm not intellectually inclined um so i'm not gonna come com like claim that i can make things like that but if you're like oh my god this is so deep i'll be like yeah yeah it is i know i'm just amazing then also i have another series known as heaven's messenger which is just a comedy series about an angel and a demon that is just starting out so it's not a lot so far but it's not meant to be anything either so basically what i'm saying is that i make mediocre content <laughs> okay well we led up to that moment well i disagree yeah uh, you can uh, you but i want to agree with you what the fuck okay <laughs> i i'm a big fan of all of bango's work i'm a official bango simp when it comes to all of his comics and i have been for a while um i will say that at one point i was working and working loosely as a colorist on Hybrid. Yes, and an editor. And an editor. And uh, it started out with the editing part. Um, oh, boy. Yeah, it was very interesting. Needed. needed. It was needed. Uh, <laughs> it was a was needed very job. Interesting experience, considering your grammar is probably some of the worst grammar I've ever seen. It's gotten better, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank it's you. It's better. I think you've it's learned because I have my mom by my side. Okay. Oh, <laughs> bless her. Bless her heart. Bless her. She works overtime. Okay. I guess I'll introduce my series. I initially started last year, I think it was, with a series called just Boo! Exclamation point. Um, it's basically about a lesbian girl who, in this, for the first version of the story, her trying to resurrect her wife or her. Not her wife, sorry. Her future fiance. We should say, we should say. But I actually. Yeah, I was completely... gonna say, damn, they got through the marriage. No, GG. They didn't even get that far. I forgot how <laughs> that it was. Um, but I, I scrapped that idea. I wasn't super excited with the story, and now we've officially rebooted it with similar characters. They're like adjacent to what they used to look like, but with kind of a re-spin of the story, and it's a little darker. Basically, it follows Erica, a um, a young girl coming out of a cult, and she is learning all of the secrets of her family and the reason why her long-lost love is gone. I'm really excited. It's brand new. I just started it's, it this I would like to month. just add that, personally for me, I'm a simp for her shit, so <laughs> you all should go read it. 
like now. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate it's it. It's a very good series and it's starting out strong. And it's an, one of the new fresh picks of Canvas that I think oh. is like a hidden gem. Oh, yeah. Well, opinion. thank you for your kind opinion. I'm really excited. I feel like it has a. We're in the build up right now and it hasn't gotten to the point where things get super interesting, but everyone's been expressing a lot of theories and I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited yeah. to, to actually reveal what's going on. But um, yeah, That'll those are the series fun. that we work on. Those are the series that uh, we have going right now. Well, mm -hmm. What else do we like do, I guess? I guess before I was <sighs> committed to doing a comic, I was working freelance as a commission artist. And I still do that quite a bit. I really enjoy working on people's OCs. I am a big fan of character design and stuff like that. So that's kind of like the lean that I've gone. That's the direction that I've gone with my art quite a bit. Yeah, that's your background. Yeah, I would say if we're talking about like how we got here, if we're introducing ourselves fully, I definitely mm -hmm. started out drawing really bad anime and work my way up to where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how we all start as artists on the internet? I mean, I mean this is, it lures us in. The, we all have our can we pretend that in. airplanes moments, okay? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we all have our we have we all have our can we pretend that airplanes moments, okay? True, true, true. Yeah. Nobody I, came out of the gate Da Vinci. Everyone I was like one step away from becoming a furry, I think. Like that's the place I fell in the oh, yeah. uh, artist spectrum. I almost fell into that category because I was like a warrior cats kid and all that. So Oh same. I teetered <laughs> that line. I wasn't a warrior cats kid, but I was an MLP kid. Oh same. We both yeah. we both came from the loving my little pony background. Loving, debatable. It was like a it was a relationship. It was, was something. <laughs> It was, it was, was something it to grow up with. Uh, who knows? Debatable. But we, Debatable. yeah, I definitely remember teetering the furry line uh, heavily. Uh, <laughs> it got dangerous. But then yeah. I went, it was like a crossroads. It was like, you're either going to be a furry or you're going to be emo. And I went emo. <laughs> I think we both kind of ended up in that same vibe. Yeah. I definitely wore cosplay to school, to my public school. And got oh bullied. Oh my for god! It, so <laughs> yeah, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about because I, wore, I remember like, wearing a tail in middle school, and I can't live that down. So I don't. I feel bad for everyone around me. I wore cat ears to school, and uh, I mean, <laughs> kudos to young me. Uh, she was crazy, I guess. I know. Pop I know. Kid. Our younger selves had balls. I know. Now I just like am a rat who spends most of my time playing games and I know. drawing. <laughs> well, when people look, look at me out in public, I'm like, do I have something on my face? And I'm like, no, because I'm just like another person that they're going to look at because they see movement. Like, <laughs> <laughs> But young me was like, what if I wore a tail to school? Oh. We need to bring that. Like, cringe culture is dead. We got to return to our, our cringe selves. Yes. We return must. to our roots. Yeah, we got to go back. And appreciate where we came from. <laughs> it's our real, you know, remembering where we came from, you know, acceptance of what it was rather than mm -hmm. denial. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, basically, our next uh, thing we were going to go over is like how we ended up friends, which I kind oh, of, yeah. I teetered on a little bit before because I've, I've helped you with your comic a little bit before, but, uh, I have a specific memory of the first time we interacted online. I think we should preface with, uh, I, I'm i based in the U.S. I live in Hawaii and Bango lives in Canada. So yep. we've never we've never met in person. Uh, the way I was introduced to you was, oh my God, okay. It was a post of Lila, I think, that I specifically remember before I created the character Lila, which is a character that I kind of made as a superhero OC and then was officially adopted into hybrid, which is like very much kids making OCs energy and then like collecting them <laughs> yeah. together. But um, I, it was when, what is the, the artist's username? I'm Roro Kuna? 
Yes. Oh my God. Okay. I remember when we both took part in her draw this in your style. Of yes, her... the Marvin one. Mm hmm. Yep. The and redhead. Then, yep. And that's how I remember specifically like you coming into my DMs after I posted mine and being like, yo, it's so sick or something along those lines. Cause that was like the first time we interacted, which. Yes. I had balls. I had I... balls. I think we both collectively like recognized each other because I was scoping out the competition. You know how it be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looking, lurking, making sure. All right. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I don't know. We started talking. We ended up clicking because we're both, you know, rats. Absolutely. And it just ended up being where we got along really well, and uh, now here we are. I specifically like, I... remember one day as well oh. uh, when you found Hybrid. You were oh, like, shit. can I be your editor because you oh suck? <laughs> I was like, yes. I would do. <laughs> you're like, you're like, you're literally, you were like, can I, can I please edit your series? Because I can't read this. And I was like, that makes sense. That checks out. Oh my god, I remember, I remember like trying to be as gentle as possible, but I love how you remember it as me just yeah. being like, yo, this sucks ass, let me help. <laughs> yo, what the fuck am I reading, dog? Like, <laughs> what am I reading? What is this, homie? No, I... <laughs> I just remember being like, you you need someone to read over this. Just Your perspective is like, you need help. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this? What is that? Uh, I was being helpful, <laughs> but that's, that tends to be the vibe. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I remember that. That was incredible. Uh, that was a turning moment. We definitely, when we started talking like via call, we would talk for way too long, which is what this, by the way, this is what the podcast is. It's just us rambling for for yeah uh, for an hour and then you guys <laughs> witness like two chaotic rats online let's go yeah two opinionated rats but their opinions oh, yeah. are so pointed in really hyper specific spaces <laughs> like politics <laughs> nah politics <laughs> nah 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 like real issues nah 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 nah, nah. unholy blood on oh, webtoon my... i have so many opinions we okay we're, I don't know. If, I don't know how long we've been going so far, but I could literally rant about that. Just, well, we may <laughs> save that rant for another episode. But I can yeah, save rant that for a good one. Unholy blood for hours because I love it and hate it simultaneously. Yeah, I yeah being being on like web two for so long and seeing other series come along and come and go and just doing it for too long. Just too long, period. When I get really excited about a series and then it just nosedives and hurts my feelings, like, personally, it hurts yeah, way okay. more than the so, series being bad in the beginning. I think we should talk about Unholy Blood. I think we I should think we start are safe. Episode. I feel like we should start, though, nice. Because Webtoon, hear me out. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> just we gently. love you, Webtoon. We do. Hear me out. But... We I have love some you. questions. So let's let's start out with our likes and then okay. we'll get to the clear oh, oh, dislike. That's a really good idea. That's a really good idea. And I think I put my list somewhere, but I can just look at I my, have my okay. list. Oh, he has his list. I have already. a okay. I have a just so you go to the paper, like, you know. I have a very short list because I have the attention span of like a hamster. A goldfish. Uh <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to be, uh, there's very few that I'm like, I've even caught up with, but I'll, so yeah. you go first. You talk about yours first. My personal, well, I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with Canvas. I'm going to start a little out of the box, a little oh, crazy oh, oh, on my oh, own oh, home turf crazy. out here. Yeah. I'm going to start <laughs> with like Canvas series because they don't usually get, like they get recognized a lot too, but the whenever people talk about webtoons on like a sphere outside of webtoon or like a webtoon space usually like canvas is like what's that so i'm gonna start with those boys i'm i'm gonna start out with black sun on canvas yeah. that series has zero right to be this good I it agree. is it is an action series that has absolutely blown me away the first scenes are so well drawn and all of it is so engaging and so much fun to just look at like i just i could screenshot everything as like a reason to read it because 
it's a masterpiece. It's honestly really amazing. And if you haven't read it already, go now. Like, it's not that hard. It's free. Like, what are you doing? Um, and just enjoy because it's beautiful. Black Sun is amazing. It deserves more hype. It's also the main characters, like the main lead character is POC. Let's mm-hmm. let's go. Yeah. Like, let's go. I just, like, I, just... I, I just started reading it last night and I had I had like taken peeks at it because you've raved about it so often. Uh, Listen, I'm a I'm a simp. I'm a simp. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's it's beautiful. I started reading it last night. I haven't like caught fully up. And I think yeah. there was a new episode posted yesterday or today. I'm not sure. But today, I would. I am <laughs> really impressed. I'm surprised they aren't featured, honestly, because the art is like some of the best on the platform itself. Whether it be um, canvas or originals, it's one of the best I've seen, hands down. Yeah. I, the style is so unique to the series too, and it works so well with all of the action and all of the effects that are used, and all of the backgrounds and the, just everything about the series just meshes so well all together to create this just masterpiece that's sitting on the site. And like, come on, webtoon, pick it up. Let's go. Wake up. Yeah, what I are agree. You... <coughs> You're missing out up. on a. Yeah, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> We'll make a lot of H three references. Oh yeah, book. sorry guys. This is just a H three podcast. Uh, we fan live podcast. and breathe H three. <laughs> we're gonna be. We're gonna have to get the sound bites for sure. Yeah, it'll but, production value. Okay, but uh, <laughs> it'll, it's great so far. Yes. Uh oh yeah. Look at our animated background. That was on me. I animated so the fancy. Background. Good job. Mm-hmm. Yep. In one day, not to brag or anything. But yeah, I, I think uh, that's probably one of the best on the platform currently. Although I haven't gotten deep into the story. Visually, it's one of the best. The story is also really, it's building, obviously. Like, it's clearly the beginning of, like, this character's arc. Like, this mm-hmm. is where the starting point is. We haven't yeah. even started, like, the main story of him. But I find, like, I'm very, I'm already really intrigued. I want to know more. I want to read more. I want to consume more of this content. And, and that's what you want. The characters seem really likable. I'm really excited to see where it goes. Me too. I'm very excited to see where it goes. Okay, where's your, what's your second one? My second one, um, my second canvas one, I'll only throw out two canvas ones. But I'd probably have to say, I'm honestly going to throw out Diamond Dive by Diamond Madamka. Dive. Oh, I need to, I have that in my subscribed. I need to actually read it, though. Diamond Dive is an absolutely beautiful series about gay witches. Like, that's oh. that's the whole plot. <laughs> Same. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, that's the whole plot. Like, <laughs> Diamond Dive is about lesbian witches. And, like, I where can you go wrong? Like, in the, <laughs> it's just, like, Harry Potter, but better. Like... <laughs> I have, like to, it's a, I have to read the, it. You do. Like, period, you do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the plot is about this main lead character, Karta, who is now going to a all-girls uh, witch school. And she encounters this uh, beautiful uh, other witch known as Bailey, and they start having like this conflict about them wanting to be in a relationship but there's something in the way of that and then like it just keeps following all of her path of going through the new school and learning how to become a witch and all that stuff it's visually stunning like the the art style of the series is so unique to the creator madamka and it's just such a pretty elegant wonderful i could go off i live the lady gaga meme like <laughs> perfect wonderful breathtaking <laughs> out, out like i could go off stan about it madamka. because i, I stand madamka in this house <laughs> because she creates this like bomb series that's just like casually sitting on canvas as well like are you kidding me that's not fair webtoon once again hello wake up wake she, up she's right there like <laughs> Diamond Dive is beautiful. That's all I can say. And it's free to read right there as well. 
on Canvas. And if you haven't read it, you should because like it's amazing. Right on. Hell yeah. Hell it's beautiful. Yeah. Do you have uh, a favorite in Canvas? Currently, I only have one that I'm going to mention because I like a lot of them, but none of them has struck me. And given I don't read enough because... Again, I spend my time on TikTok instead, which is terrible for my brain. Oh, <laughs> but, I feel um, you. The TikTok brain rot is real. Yeah. So my suggestion to everyone, this is like criminally underrated. And the series is called The Curse of Pirate's Bay. It is so good. It's only like four episodes in. It's four episodes in. It is so excellent. The art style is nothing I've really seen on Webtoon. Uh, it's a little more like I would describe it as like earthy. That's a really mm. broad term to use but i see a lot of people me included that have like more anime inspired theirs is more cartoon inspired the characters are already so intriguing and cute and the story seems so wholesome that it's gonna be so good and i just want to preface the story only has 500 subscribers it deserves so much more than that I want to see it pop off so bad because i'm really excited this the series seems really interesting that's my yeah. favorite personally i yeah i've seen that you uh you recommended it to me i, I have not first... stopped yeah <laughs> I, mean, no. I cannot stop it's my favorite i right saw now. the first episode and i'm already like sucked in i already want to know more and it's i'm so good ah! going to continue to read it because this is it's a very adorable series like it's very I, adorable i have a feeling that once the adventure like starts to kick off we're gonna see like a lot of character development it's just set up for interesting dynamics i'm really excited highly recommend it i don't want to spoil anything but basically it follows the i don't know anyone's name so i'm just gonna preface that but it oh. follows a young kid <laughs> living on an island and they this sounds so in, <laughs> inconsequential but i, I assume it's gonna be important they get cut with like something magical and then they just go about their lives pretending like everything's cool but it's definitely going to be um it's going to be interesting i i already know it if they continue which is always something you have to think about on canvas yeah because canvas is like more independent it's not like you get lit, um like a comfortable amount of money to continue working there like fully or part-time like you don't have that safety net you're mm -hmm. it's an independent space so you have to be able to create your own revenue if you want to do it so, sort of like that or have the right environment for that kind of stuff so canvas series often upload on usually their own time depending on the canvas series because it's so dependent on the person and what their life is like and i think yeah. a lot of people forget that yeah, I, it is, I mean, the requirements to get AdSense on your comic itself is like, you have to really work to get to that goal. And a lot of people don't have, um, they don't have experience in advertising, they don't have experience in reaching out to other creators. And so it's, yeah, it's definitely difficult to grow on Canvas, I would say, which is why your growth is really impressive. I mean, Oh, thank you. If we're we're talking about that, I I know the exact point where you started popping off and how you've grown since then. It's mm -hmm. all deserved, first of all, and second, <laughs> um, it's been interesting from my point of view because I've learned a lot just by seeing your your creations kind of be picked up in the sphere of can kind of enjoyed by people that go on canvas it's pretty it's pretty yeah sick. it is wild like uh because like a lot of my main growth has happened in the scope of almost like a little over a year like yeah, a lot of i'd have to say a lot of my main growth comes from that time frame because it started in like the thanksgiving of yep. 2019 Yep, I remember. Yeah. Oh, 2019. Oh my. Have we been friends for yeah. two years? <laughs> yeah, we have. Oh my God, bro. I know. Okay. Ew. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Ugh, God, I've <laughs> known you for this long. Ugh. Rat energy. That's my yeah. God. Returning to our favorite uh, originals, we got to talk about the originals. Originals, yes, because originals do have some standout content. Mm -hmm. And yes. I'd have to say, personally, for me, one of the ones that I constantly go back and wait for has been Uriah. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Oh, and no. anyone can <laughs> rip, rip me a new one if I am saying it wrong. Okay. But 
Which one is it's, that? It's kind of a smaller. It's spelled U R I A H. Oh. It's like a. It's a bit of a smaller original, but it's a horror original oh. that is so just like it's so fucked up. But I love it so much. Like the oh. main character was named Thumbless for a whole season, and there is Ooh. um, it's very accurate. He didn't have a thumb. Okay. <laughs> like, oh yeah, he, I see that on the cover art. Straight yeah, up. he just doesn't have a thumb. Yeah. Oh, rest in peace. <laughs> he kind of just doesn't have a thumb. Uh the like series the is kind of grim. Yeah, the art style is really cute for how crazy it gets. That is how it be. Yeah, the cute art styles you can't trust. <laughs> you can't True. trust those. But okay. basically, you follow. Yeah, that's it's because it's so it can, it. <laughs> it doesn't get enough attention it deserves. I'm gonna just that's all I'm gonna say about that. It's not fair, but I get it. It's kind of really heavy series to be like putting on the front banner next to like I don't know how my boyfriend became a cat. Like you know what I'm saying? Right, right. It's kind of grim. Horror is one of the um the more overlooked genres on webtoon. Yeah, like horror and like psychological stuff like that kind of gets overlooked mm-hmm. for like romance. The main people that are reading are usually younger people, so I I'm not surprised that romance is like the most popular. Yeah, and I'm not very shocked that horror gets kind of especially like Uriah. Uriah has a like a, a decent chunk of blood. Like it, it, yeah. We're you know it follows a lot of really fucked up people, and it's got a lot of blood, and it's got a lot of gore, and there's a a lot of murder in it. So (laughs) if you are faint of heart, do not read it. First of all, (laughs) good to know. Good to know. Trigger warning for anyone who is not up to read about a little thumbless dude with amnesia going through life. Don't. (laughs) <laughs> uh, just don't but if you are up for it i highly recommend it because i think a lot of people kind of snub it in my opinion mm. on webtoon and i think it deserves a lot more love even though it's so kind of fucked up i uh, i think it deserves a lot more love all right do you have another on another on one mm, i mean not a canvas on original 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 i'd probably i think i'll save I know that you could rave harder about I'm the Grim Reaper, so I'll save that one for you. Oh, yes, I have so much to say about the Grim Reaper. <laughs> but I would have to say the one that I've re- been returning to for reading originals is definitely Jungle Juice. Mm-hmm. That's all I've my been top loving deal. Jungle Juice. <laughs> it's uh, it's the it's the webtoon original about bugs. Yeah, it's that one about bugs. Bug people. I really didn't think, to be fair, when I first, like, saw it, I was like, bug people? <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, what? Like, I didn't think I it's would good. get into it. But it's yeah, good. it's so good. Like, <laughs> the can, action is really beautiful. And Action like, is excellent. The character designs and, like, the world building in general is so fun. Oh, yeah. Everyone's so lively and the colors are so warm and bright so it makes like the whole series really nice to look at yep yep i agree 100 percent. it's just so like visually like well done because like all of the action and all of the different intense scenes are so well drawn and all of the like just the amount of lines used that's like another weird thing that i kept picking up like there's so many lines used in that series you know yeah, their line art is interesting. It's actually kind of helped me break my idea of, like, I need clean line art. Like, you really don't. You just need to no. make sure your posing is strong, which Jungle Juice has in Yeah, the you need to convey what you're going for, not cleanly replicate what you're going for. Exactly. I Yeah, that's something I've had to learn in my comic process. Definitely. Yeah, there's, like, a... A lot of learning Jungle- curves. Oh my god, yeah. I've learned so much in the last month on what what actually looks visually appealing, especially when people are scrolling by so quickly. Mm-hmm. But Jungle Juice is excellent. I also recommend Jungle Juice for people who like action. It's just so well fucking done. Like, I don't know yeah. what else to say. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's definitely. 
I actually want to follow the main character rather than like a trudge, like, you know, through the trenches. You don't have to, you're not tolerating the main character. (laughs) Yes, you're not tolerating. (laughs) You're not like a cat. Like, you're not like, I tolerate you today, you know? (laughs) You're like, unconditionally love them. Do you have any others? I think those are my only originals that I'm like hooked on currently. Okay. Like those are the only ones that I'm actively going back to and being like, no, this was solid. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna open mine with I'm the Grim Reaper. That one There you go. Here, here's why I love this series, okay? First of all, the characters are all super interesting, inherently just well thought out interesting characters you the main character is probably one of my favorite female main characters ever and i think she's awesome i think she's fucking probably what just overall the design just right up my alley right up my alley uh the the relationships between the characters primarily the main character and a male lead are one of the my favorite uh hetero relationships i've ever seen represented True. <laughs> hands down she doesn't I'm... get nerfed around him oh no it's, this will be relevant when i talk about unholy blood anyway <laughs> um, just the story the characters the world building is super interesting i i am someone who really appreciates like a spin on you know christian biblical ideas of what heaven and hell looks like and what god looks like and I yeah think that's always I'm the, so fun i'm the grim reaper does a great job of kind of like taking that and putting a really interesting spin on it and all of the conflict that comes from the world building is so good and so well done i just i love grave weaver so much i've taken so much inspiration from her work and i think she's excellent the, the creator herself is incredible and her work speaks for itself. It's so good. Yeah. Highly recommend. And she's will be relevant. She's a really nice I, person. Yeah. I, I need to watch her streams because she seems just overall like she has a good sense like, of humor. The one interaction I had with her, I was like, I'm so this, upset. She's really good. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. so upset. You you're had still, an interaction with her and mad. I'm so upset. I need to. <laughs> I need to uh draw fan art it's been on my list of things to do for context i drew a piece of fan art for the series because i also really love the series um and then she actually hit me up to put it up in there in the series and yeah she's a really nice person she's really sweet (laughs) it's excellent and (laughs) high art. the fan art was juicy the fan art was also juicy. please respect the fact that we have given no descriptions of these series so uh oh you have to go read them yourself oh no oh I'm, uh, I'm not gonna try to spoil anything i just want people hyped up to go read them yeah uh because Build it up. i know some people are really like sensitive about spoilers so i don't want to spoil anything That's very true um, but it is a supernatural series if you are curious Oh, is it? I don't even know what category it's in. It's yeah, in it's the supernatural. Same category is mine. Ooh. Oh, you uh, share I... a category with. <laughs> oh my god, you share a category with Grey Weaver. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So my next one. It's time. Oh, my I thought you were gonna. One... I... I'm not gonna pop off on a on a Holy Blood yet. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, we're saving it. We're saving. We're saving it. it. That's gonna be at the end. We're we're positive first. Okay. Positivity. Peace <laughs> and love. Peace, Peace and, and love. love. Peace and love. Uh, my second favorite, uh, is Suitor Armor. I am such a sucker. Oh yeah. For Suitor Armor, I'm not caught up. I've never caught up on anything ever. I swear that is a promise. <laughs> I'm not caught up on anything ever. <laughs> I I just don't I can't I have to binge read everything. But Suitor Armor is one of my favorites. I love again the character designs. Uh, the story is really interesting. It's really cute. I would say there's like it's. I'm pretty sure it's in the romance category, right? It's currently in fantasy. Oh, okay, it's in fantasy. It has some romance. It's really cute. I. 
I don't want to spoil anything, but the main character is just a sweetheart and I'm rooting for her. I want her to, you know, figure things out. I want everyone <laughs> to accept her. It's I'm not again, I'm not gonna spoil anything too crazy, but this is at the beginning of the story. It follows a main character who is a fairy and she has to hide the fact that she's a fairy because she lives in a human kingdom. And it's really interesting. Uh, yeah. Highly suggest. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but that's one of my favorites. Uh, I think there was something else I was going to talk about, but I don't remember. I I like I like Seed as well, but I started reading Seed when it was a a canvas comic. Mm, yeah, and I I don't really read it now because again I don't I don't keep up with anything. But it is, <laughs> from when it was on canvas, that is another that one, comic. That one was apparently really good. The the style is my favorite part. I think the art style is like the really art style is really different. Yeah, right up my alley. It inspired me a lot. I think those are all, <laughs> <laughs> I think those are all of my favorites on originals. I don't. I sh really should read more canvas. Uh, I just should canvas. read more in general like i have so many subscribes that i just Same. don't keep up with like there's a lot that i'm like yeah i like this it's just i'm not up to date with it so i can't really give it high praise yeah right so do we want to talk about unholy blood okay yeah so uh who wants to open this up because i have a lot of thoughts well i did find did i read it first and then suggest to you i'm pretty sure i read it really when it first came out you read it before i did most definitely i can almost open it then guaranteed. so okay, i'll give a bit of a, a light description of the series this the series is basically about um vampires like it like a universe with vampires and the main character is like one of the fancy dancy vampires so she's got like <laughs> blue eyes instead of red she's a pure we, blood she yeah she's like yeah. she's not those like mud blood looking asses like <laughs> <laughs> she's, not, wait, she's a pure blooded vampire she's pure blood you can't mess with that so mm -hmm. the main character is obviously clearly like the special type of vampire and the series like started out really strong i remember reading it and highly praising it and showing it off to everyone because the art style is absolutely phenomenal like one the of, artist one of the best i've ever seen oh it yeah is, it is incredible how beautiful each panel is it's incredible each panel is like a, a masterpiece on its own. Like yes. each panel, you could just look at for hours. Like I, <laughs> like the amount of screenshots I have on my old phone. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like it's just you get like you're like, oh wow, this one's really. Good. I've oh, I've okay, made a TikTok really simping over the main character. Let's just say that, like it's yeah, it is so pretty. Each character is drawn like the most ripped human being you've ever seen i know so. they all look like olympians <laughs> they do <It's> <laughs> they are all just like absolutely stacked like you can they're all violently attractive <laughs> violently and like violently not <laughs> casually <aggressively>. not passively <laughs> in <Violently>. your face attractive <laughs> yes <laughs> Yes, it's, they are this is no true. they are nothing else but violently attractive. Mm -hmm. And the series had a really great like starting point story wise too. Like it was fine. I was there a lot mostly for the art as well because the series is beautiful, mm -hmm. but the 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 story wasn't terrible either. Like it was a fun read at the start. Over the, at the start. Yeah, over over the course of like the beginning, where she's kind of finding like I get, like I guess you could say she's trying to find her footing as a vampire in this world, whether or not she's gonna like go full crazy or like just stay as like a human. So she kind of does like the weird like superhero kind of energy where she's like, in the daytime I'm your normal college student, but in the <laughs> nighttime I am white haired vampire. <laughs> and it's it was very absolutely compelling. destroys you. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It was great. Like, I, <laughs> the way I'm describing it does not fully describe okay. how much fun I had. Yes, the beginning is like, there's a good hook. You're interested in the characters. You know, the main character, she's still kind of like finding her footing in the world and hasn't quite come to terms with who she is and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, 
it gets worse. And it just, I think it's oh when the villain gets introduced. Okay. So okay. Spoilers <laughs> from now on. If you don't want to, if from now on, if you don't want to hear spoilers about Unholy Blood, thank you for watching. Yeah. <laughs> just politely. We appreciate you, but this yeah. is where we go off. This is where yeah, we go off. Yeah, with peace and love. And we're about <laughs> to say the whole plot. It, a bad, a bad description of the plot, but the plot is not too horrible yeah. to describe so i no there's a few things i want to talk about since we have like less than 20 minutes so you kind of gave the opening yeah uh, when i when you were suggesting it to me that was where you were at you were excited about the series it was beautiful and i i remember seeing it like on the front page of webtoon and you had suggested it so i was like why not i'll read it and I agree. The beginning is really fun. The characters are interesting. And the art is v- extremely impressive. Chef's Kiss. Absolutely Chef's kiss. delicious. I don't know how they do it. The artist is a beast. But here's yeah. the problem. <laughs> here's the problem. <laughs> it all kind of... The story builds up to the reveal of who the villain is, right? Yeah, and the god at this character. Point, at this point, the main character, she's lost everything. She's lost her father figure. She's lost her actual parents. She's lost her living situation with her adopted siblings. She's and lost. And she's only, she's like recovering her memory of her parents at this right. moment, too. She doesn't really know who her parents are. She doesn't remember her past. She only remembers being with a priest dude that is her father figure who dies pretty early on in the story, which made yeah. me upset. I was very sad that he died. Screaming, but I also was like, "Wow, Blue Exorcist." Anyways, <laughs> I, I have not watched Blue Exorcist all the way through. So okay, I mean, but it's like understand. the same thing. I believe you. I believe you. You believe? Believe me. He dies in the first episode in Blue Exorcist. Yeah. It, so you are following her, like her discovery of who's kind of behind all of the crazy shit that's happened to her, and has literally gotten some of her. Uh, her family broken apart and her father figure killed so when you find out who it is it is so upsetting it's not only upsetting but it was confusing and downright wrong like it was awkward incorrect it didn't make any sense there was no build up to who it was so basically i'm going to explain it uh the villain who is like caused all of this the strife in her life is her childhood friend, who she had no memory of up until she visits her childhood village or, like, town, and uh, she slowly I... regains her memories of who her parents were while she's there. Yeah. And, like, her memory comes back to her, and she realizes that her her childhood friend, who she had forgotten about, because he's there, like, he... She, she yeah, he's like cosplaying again. as his young self. <laughs> right. He's like, I'd like to just add that because he's he's already introduced, like he's already a con- villain conceptually throughout the series. Like he's already a villain, like as the god character in the mm-hmm. universe. Like God is not like a now villain. Like he was already being told about his co- like he was kind of like a weird word. Like it was a lot of like the pronoun game, but you never really saw him unless you saw his mask. And his mask was shown multiple times. Yes. But then he is, like, suspiciously cosplaying as his young self in his hometown. And you don't, as the reader, you don't know. This is supposed to be, like, a big spoiler. Like, this is supposed to be a big plot twist. That was the purpose. Was The big plot twist is, you know, when she returns to her hometown and kind of reconnects with her childhood friend, she so slowly remembers what actually happened while she's there. I want to, like, preface that. Yeah. And so yeah, like, he do- you don't know that he's God. You don't know that he's the bad guy. And so he's, like, putting on this act that he's a sweet guy, right? And he's like, yeah, we're friends, blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, also, I want to add, it's framed in a way where it's, like, romantic. Because her that male... Too. Like the other, the male character, Strawberry Puppy Dog. Uh, he's very sweet, but the the series keeps pushing their relationship, and I'm very upset about it. And I'll I'll explain why in a minute. But I just want to get to like the, this character and how annoying he is, the, <laughs> the the friend character, the villain. So she has a male co-star, I'll say, who is interested in her, 
and he gets jealous that she's talking to her childhood friend and it's like being framed that there's some like romantic uh element. interest there, an element yeah. there it's totally fabricated it's like non-existent i call bs it's totally like not they're not it's, selling it at all it's, it's so out of pocket it, like, it's so out of pocket <laughs> It's like so no one out asks. of nowhere. No one cares. Like, he literally, yeah, he's like, they're just talking, and then he's like, hey, yo, that's my girl. Yeah, and it's I'm like, like okay. Kate, put your hetero in the <laughs> in the corner. Like, like Stop. I don't care. <laughs> when you find out, when she finds out, and thus you find out as the reader, that he is the one who killed her real parents and, like, went batshit crazy with his power that he he literally took power away from her parents who were pure bloods and used it for evil for years yeah it's ridiculous there's no hint of this being the case no like, prior and it's to just this so arc, weird prior to her getting to that town there was no foreshadowing of who it could be like there was nothing we didn't get any well, information also like did he like know she was going there? Like, yeah, how and then, did he know she was like in the like feeling nostalgic, and then also decided to waste like a whole vampire army on her and yeah. a bunch of acid bullets on him? Okay, like so <laughs> rewind when she finds out and remembers because he reveals himself or whatever or something yeah. like that. He like is trying to kill her with his whole vampire army that he's collected. And at this point, this we sound like crazy people talking about this, we, but <laughs> <laughs> we are crazy people talking about this. I mean, I've the, the thing I want to say is I loved this series up until this point. So, like, when he throws all of his little minions at her, it just feels so like, what was the plan? Like, you plan to pretend that you're her childhood friend. That she remembers. Yeah. Like he was banking on the fact that she didn't remember who he was. Up until that point. Up until yeah. that point. So And it, like it just feels I, like the writers wanted to have a plot twist or the writer. I don't know how many writers are on there. I can only say I think yeah. there's one, right? I think there's one. The writer thought this is a great idea. We're gonna we're gonna have a big reveal. And I feel like what happened was the writer had written themselves into a corner where they had to reveal who that villain was and they didn't know who it was yet. Like, they didn't have any clue. Or they did know, but they did such a poor job of setting up who the villain was from the very beginning of the series that when it mm. actually was revealed, you're like, what the fuck? Since Yeah, when? I feel like it was just a weak twist. Like, I feel it like the so whole purpose weak. was to be a, just a twist villain. Yeah, And twist villains, like, in the, like, look at Big Hero 6. Sometimes it's okay to not have a twist villain. Yeah, just <laughs> like, don't. Just don't. If your villain is, if you haven't had a masterful way of setting it up, and you, I think the best way to have a twist villain is that the audience knows who the villain is but the characters don't i think that's the best way to have yeah. a twist villain because if you're trying to trick your audience what ends up happening is if you're not extremely good at writing and you're not extremely good at setting things up uh you're gonna get lost in the sauce and yeah you're... if you're not like seven feet ahead of reddit you're not gonna win <laughs> like you're just yeah. not like <laughs> so you're not gonna win i feel like also in a long-running series a twist villain doesn't really work because if you've set it up correctly, people are going to figure it out. So it's not going to be that big of a twist when everyone's kind of theorized already, especially on Webtoon where there are yeah. comments. People are commenting and theorizing in your comments. I and then another thing is that I think you, what you're explaining is also a really, like, a really big problem that can happen. But also what this one suffers from is having a twist villain with zero lead up, which... Yeah. No, creates was... a completely separate problem that has the same result, it being mm -hmm. doo-doo. But <laughs> it, yeah. It, yeah. it's a different problem because as soon as I saw him, I was like, he's a villain, you know? Because I was like, where is he from? He's probably another vampire she's going to beat up. Yeah, I... So with that whole villain, then after that, you have to follow them, like the main character the the female main character and her male co-star uh kind of 
trying have, to beat him. We have passed so... the hour mark, by the way. We have? Yeah. No! Okay, well, yeah. I want to talk about this a little bit more. All right, we'll go a little bit over. We'll, we're off we'll the rails We'll go a little here. bit over. Okay, we're off the rails. I knew I could talk about this forever. Uh, I want to follow up with the two things. The clear uh, parallels between uh, the virus, I'm not going to say it, because oh. I don't know, the virus, oh, yeah. uh, and the virus in the story. So basically, there's this side plot after the, the villain reveal where the villain is tr turning people by giving them a vaccine, quote unquote, that will defends make, against being a vampire defends a bit against becoming a vampire but the twist is that it actually turns them into vampires yeah and specifically this... a hive mind vampire where you like he's basically just making an army so obviously this storyline is happening during what's happening right now which is the virus yeah uh, the panorama the panorama um, I'm sorry. What are you? It just feels <laughs> like to me direct uh propaganda against vaccines. I I think okay, this is just like I believe you, right? I, I don't believe think that they it's did it on purpose. Propaganda. Yeah, I don't think it's on purpose though. I honestly think it's just a really badly timed plot to be putting down. I want to think I, so. I want to think Falcon so. Because Falcon and the Winter Soldier fell for the same problem. Because there's the the show Falcon and the Winter Soldier was originally about to be like a about a plot with a virus where they oh. had to get a vaccine for it, but they completely X'd that out of the whole show because of the panorama. Oh, so gotcha. it the show was not good. But I absolutely love the series and I still love it to this day, okay? I love falcon and the winter soldier it's just it suffered so much from the cuts that it, they had to make um but yeah like i think it's just really terrible timing of them wanting to do this this plot about you know which makes sense with the concept of a villain wanting more hive mind like mm -hmm. vampires right. so uh, with people being afraid of vampires make a vaccine event against vampires but actually uh, the twist is oh my god the twists in this series I was playing a game of Twister here, <laughs> but exhausted. the twist being that it's actually made from the villain. Makes sense. It's just not great timing. <laughs> it, I, I honestly, I don't think it's, I don't think it's good writing, personally. Maybe I'm just, like, mad about everything that's happened in the series. I can admit that. I'm biased. I but think, I think it's, it's like a, I, eh, I think it's a cohesive, I think it's a cohesive, like, um, villain archetype or villain oh for sure motive. but my issue is that uh it is directly paralleling real life and it is anti-vaccine in nature because they should be afraid of the vaccine in that universe because it's bad it's gonna turn you into a vampire a mindless drone so yeah my point is it feels really um it makes sense for like a total off the rails uh villain who wants power, but for what it implies to readers who are young and maybe don't have access to all of the education that most people do, but they read Unholy Blood, my brain, yeah. it's, it's like subtle, not so subtle brainwashing of. It young has people. bad implications on what's happening in real life. Yeah. So that's my issue with it. Uh, yeah. I have a major problem with that plot line. I think that maybe they. I think the the move was to scrap it or like on the episodes themselves leave a disclaimer and be like I think they did they left a disclaimer on one of the episodes I saw mm. that was like these aren't effect, these are, uh what's happening in this episode doesn't affect real life or you shouldn't use this for your real life experiences like that kind of thing but they should have been um, I do more know direct. That they made one, but they do need to be a little bit more direct about you that. You should and... be like, I am not anti vaccine. It's not that hard. Yeah. It's really not that hard. Like, I know you're trying not to offend people, but people need to know this. Like, okay, uh, yeah. figure it out. But... I think the one other complaint we are going to talk about definitely about Unholy Blood will be 
the rep- representation of women, but I unfortunately yes. think that has to be next time. Okay, because we're, we're out of time. Yeah, I think we could talk a whole episode about women. Oh, in I mean, we could series. I, yes, how how uh, female leads specifically, and how when people yeah. write them their their problems that they have. How That'll women be... in general get just treated in media yeah Yeah. definitely uh we're gonna talk about that next episode so there's your teaser y'all oh yeah around this long if if anyone wanted to listen to that (laughs) our podcast has become uh dunking on unholy blood yeah peace and love i I will say peace and love peace and love we the reason why i critique it so hard is because i feel like it has so much potential and that's why i'm i just love the art that's all <laughs> that that's too. my that's my comment <laughs> we have no complaints the artist is doing their job perfectly yeah artist keep doing what you're doing <laughs> all right so how do we wrap this up uh thank you guys for listening thank you. slash watching yeah um i'm glad you made it to the rat cast we appreciate yeah it. if you want more you know we'll stick around, around next we, week. Uh, yeah yeah we're annoying so we won't leave <laughs> We'll be around. <laughs> we'll like an infection. Uh, uh, check us out on our. We'll check us out on our uh, socials. I'm yes. a lovely brat on almost everything. Important. And I'm anyway. a, a simple bango on almost everything that may or may not be important as well. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Thank you guys for listening, and we'll catch you next time. Next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.